Hello, Veteran 021 here, welcome back, and this is another edition of Skyrim Sunday. In the last episode, we uh, continued with the, uh, the Dawn Guard quest line, and we met Isran, the leader of a group of vampire hunters. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to stay with this group of vamp vampire hunters. I've been doing more uh, research on vampirism in this game, and it appears from what I've read there's actually two different types of vampires. There's regular vampirism, and there's another type of vampirism, which is really freaking powerful. So, as far as my character and the way I've built my character so far in the game, I think I'm going to go that route, but we have to continue on with the, uh, the quest stuff first, so let's go ahead and do that. this finds you praise your last breakthrough I've been seeking all dangers I have escaped the traps I have eluded and followed through I have avoided blah 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 yeah I don't care about reading this book Daedra eh I think basically that book's gonna say something about I don't know uh, what the hell this place is about or something along those lines. Conjuration's going up. is this gold I like gold ooh damn I got stabbed in the wrist by a thingy and did that hurt me what the hell Okay, well, I don't have any ill effects from that, so... What the hell do we do here? Got some purple aura going out to this pedestal. Okay, and that lights the way to over here, and then it stops. Oh, okay, I see. Well, this is pretty easy to figure out. All we gotta do is just push this one over here, right? And that lights the way to right there. Then we gotta take this one, push it over. Push this one over, right? And then I'm guessing last but not least, we just push that one. Alright. What the hell is this about? Activate stone monolith. Whoa! What the hell? What the hell is this? Uh, where is... Who 
sent you here? Uh, a man named Isran. I don't know who that is. Is he like me? Uh, what do you mean, like <laughs> you? Can't you tell just from looking at me? She's got a vampire man. eyes. Yeah, the Dawn Guard would want me to kill Not you. Not fond of vampires, are they? Well, look, kill me, you've killed one vampire. But if people are after me, there's something bigger going on. I can help you find out what that is. Really? Uh, where do you need to My go? My used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. Yeah, do you got an Elder yes, Scroll on your back over here? It's mine. Oh. It's... complicated. I can't really talk about it. I'm sorry. Okay. It's on an island near Solitude. Hopefully we can find a boat to take us there. Near Solitude? It's my family home. Not the most welcoming place, but depending on who's around, I'll be safe there. My father and I don't really get along. Ah. Uh, saying it out loud makes it sound so... common. So this little is... Little girl who doesn't get along with her father. Read that story a hundred times. This is weird because normally in, like, older Elder Scrolls games, vampire... You know, vampirism to me was, like, pretty bad. Like, I hated it. Like, you would get burned in sunlight, but I've actually been doing some reading and the only thing that happens in sunlight is your powers are weakened. Like you won't regenerate magicka, stamina, or health unless you use potions. So it doesn't seem as debilitating as it used to be. I mean, it's still debilitating, but it's not as bad. I'd rather not get into that with you, if that's all right. I'm sorry. It's not that... It's just that I don't know who I can trust yet. Let's get to my home, and I'll have a better sense of where we all stand. Why don't you keep your things, and I'll keep mine? Oh. Okay. Um... Good question. Hard to say. I... I can't really tell. I feel like it was a long time. Who is Skyrim's High King? Um... Yeah, that's a matter for debate. Oh, wonderful. A war of succession. Good to know the world didn't get boring while I was gone. <laughs> Who are the contenders? Um, the Empire support, yeah. It's, it's a bunch of bullcrap. Empire? What? Bunch of politics. What empire? Yeah, from Cyrodiil, from uh, the Cyrodiil fourth game. Cyrodiil is the seat of an empire? I must have been gone longer than I thought. Definitely longer than we planned. Please, let's hurry. I need to get home so I can figure out what's happened. Yeah, I don't think I want to part ways with you, but uh, how do we get out of here? This is as good as mine. This place looks pretty different from when I was locked away. Hmm. Okay. So this is Serana. She's a vampire that we just the air feel heavy released here? from this uh, this woozy, but it might just be thingy. Up. So uh, she doesn't seem like a bad person, even though she is a vampire. Like I said, most other games are like Morrowind and Oblivion. If you run into a vampire, they're trying to kill you no matter what. So this is definitely a switch. And I remember being afflicted with vampirism in the other games and not liking it at all. Like, I fucking hated it. But uh, it might be different in this game. I, like I said, I've been doing some reading on, uh, on a certain special part or a certain special vampirism. Gargoyles, huh? Wow. Crazy. A 
Oh, those things have a lot of good jewels. You still with me or what? Oh, you are, okay. What now? Oh, well, I guess we're gonna keep going. Wait a minute. <laughs> what the hell? She can summon stuff too? That's pretty sweet. Alright. What the hell is this? Hide armor of major illusion. And some gold. Not too shabby. <coughs> like I said, I've been reading stuff about vampirism in this game, and uh, at least with the Dawn, Dawn Guard uh, expansion, it seems like it actually might be pretty nice. Especially for a character of my build, because I have uh, conjuration perks and destruction perks, so I might have to grab some alteration and restoration perks as well. But uh, for my character, it sounds like it'd be pretty freaking awesome, so... I think I'm gonna roll with it when the time comes. Yeah, I'm just exploring this area to make sure I don't miss any treasure. Is there anything down in the water here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's keep going. It's kind of creepy how those gargoyles are busting out of the wall there. Pretty crazy. Bad guys in here. Ooh. Hello. It's an iron gate barring our path. Whoa. Is that it? Are they dead? Okay then, that was interesting. What's this? Gold and a silver ring. Something? It's like a big cathedral. Yes.
this guy's pretty tough. guy is powerful, man. Holy crap. Talk about a lot of hit points. Ebony War Axe. Jeez. Guy just didn't want to die. What is this? Ooh, a glass war axe. Dwarven arrows? Yeah, why not? Uh oh. I hear something. I hear something. I hear a word of power. Stamina Drain Vitality. Cool. It's not too far now. At least, I don't think it is. I thought you knew the way. Hey man, I've never been in here before. Nice. Oh, what's this? Sanctified iron... Ooh. Be good to get outside and Enchanted you. weapons. I the sunlight. Of course, we don't miss sunlight. I mean, well, I shouldn't say we yet, because I'm not a vampire. I knew I wow. I don't know what she saw, but whatever she saw, it's dead. Okay, there we go, we're out. <sighs> it's so good to breathe again. Even in this weather, it's better than the cave. Whatever, you mean you like the sunlight? That's crazy. What now? Um... Yeah, what now? What do we do now? Should we go to this place that you were talking about? Way over here? By North Watch Keep? Whatever, let's go there. Halt! Um... No thanks, I'll just go around you. Shouldn't we keep moving? I really want to get back home. Fine, we'll go home. To your home. That's it, out there to the north. I used to keep a boat around here to get there and back. Okay, so let's uh, travel the castle. What is it? Volkadir or some shit? Volkahir. Volkahar. Volkahar. Okay. Let's check it out. Hey. Do you need something? This is it. Home sweet castle. <laughs> I didn't want you to think I was one of those, you know, the women who just sit in their castle all day. I don't know. Coming from a place like this, well, it's not really me. I hope you can believe that. 
Okay. Let's go. Hey, so before we go in there. Uh, what is it? I wanted to thank you for getting me this far. But after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Lady Serana's back! Open the gate! No, she seems like a very, very nice vampire. She doesn't seem malevolent at all. Well, I... Lord Harkin's a great man. Best show him the proper respect. Hmm. Okay. Civilized vampires, huh? Very interesting. How dare you trespass here? Wait, Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. My lord, everyone! Serana has returned! I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it! My long lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course I'm destroyed. delighted to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? Uh, yeah, I'm veteran 0121, and who the hell are I you? I am Harkin, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter will have told you what we are. Yeah, you guys are vampires. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. Really? For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. Hmm. Yeah, do I get a reward for finding your daughter? I was about to suggest that very thing. Yes, you must certainly deserve a reward. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again. Yeah, yeah, what if I refuse? Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! This is the power that I offer. Now, wow. make your choice. Uh... So here's a huge choice. I can accept his gift and become a vampire, or... Uh, if I don't want to become a vampire, I can refuse it. So, basically what I've been reading, this is the kind of vampire you want to become. You don't want to become a normal vampire. If you're going to become a vampire, you want to become a vampire from this guy right here. So, yeah, I'm going to accept. Be still. A 
awake at last. Good. The power is growing within you. And now you must learn to wield it. <laughs> what happened? How did I get here? No, I'm not going to say that. Yeah, I'm ready to learn about my new powers. Hell yeah. Guidance, you will become a deadly instrument, striking terror into the hearts of mortals wherever you tread. Now listen to my words and do as I instruct. The true power of the ancient blood is found in the form of the Vampire Lord. Assume the mantle of the Vampire Lord, and we will continue. Okay. Transform into the Vampire Lord, and I will teach you more. Okay, how the hell do I do that? Magic, powers... Vampire Lord, transform into a Vampire Lord, use the revert form power to change back. So, can I favorite this shit? Might as well, I'm probably going to be using it a lot. the life from your foes with your right hand. With your left hand, you can wield the power of blood magic to raise the dead. You can also call upon the powers of night to turn into a swarm of bats and reappear some distance away. Should you run out of magicka, you can descend to the ground and fight as the beasts do. Do so now. And we will continue. Press control the change between magic and melee. Modes. Land on the ground, and I will have good. You are weaker while on the ground because you cannot access the blood magic. However, the night powers are still yours to command, and your claws are still formidable weapons. Over time, your powers will grow in strength, and you will find new ways to use your gifts. Really? Press tab to view the Vampire Lord perk tree. Okay, so I have about the same amount of magicka that I had before. A lot more health. A little bit more stamina. Kill enemies with drain life or bite power attack to earn perks. Each new perk requires a few more feedings. Oh wow. Light power detect all creatures, even dwarven automatons. Nice. Night power transform into an invulnerable mist while health magic and stamina regenerate. Everything slows down while you move faster. Supernatural reflexes, huh? Very interesting. Blood healing. Killing a person with a power attack bite restores all your health. Night powers and blood magic cost 33% less. Okay. Sounds pretty nice. Melee attacks do 20 points of poison damage. In combat, you are surrounded by clouds, by a cloud of bats that feed on enemies within melee range. Night cloak. Very interesting. Vampiric Grip. Blood Magic. Can pull a creature to you from a distance and do choking damage once it's close. Summon Gargoyle. Oh, okay. You can 
summon gargoyles as a vampire. And corpse curse. Target is paralyzed. Hmm. Very interesting. So I, I guess I automatically have this perk then, huh? Maybe? Something like that? There is much to learn. But if you master the powers of the Vampire Lord, few enemies will be able to stand against you. It's crazy. Wait a minute. That's my race now? There is one last thing you must know. Slaying mortal men with your life drain grants you new night powers and blood magic. I keep a stable of thralls in the castle, should you need to feed like the baser vampires to stave off the sun. That is all I have to teach you. If you wish to be reminded of these lessons, you need only ask. I have a task that will test your new powers. But first, do you have any questions? When you first transform into a vampire lord, you will hover in the air. While you do, you will command the powers of blood and night. Descend to the ground and you can attack with your claws and feed upon your prey to regain your strength. With experience, your powers will grow and you will discover new ways to use them. As a vampire, you will gain new powers, but also a weakness to sunlight. With each passing day that you do not feed, that weakness will become more deadly, but your powers will also become stronger. Feed upon those who are sleeping, and your vulnerability to sunlight will diminish along with your powers. Good. Go and speak to Garen Marethi. Tell him it is time. He will understand. Bloodstone Chalice. Very interesting. Well, I can't go into like first person mode in this vampire mode, which is kind of annoying. speak to you what's happening why me weird Bats, raised dead, vampire sight. What, what, what do these powers do? change back. Uh, why can't I change back? I'm hitting my power key. So I should be able to change back, right? Oh, oops, I had the wrong one selected. There we go. I'm back to normal again. Fire cattle. 
Whatever. Let me go. Let me go. Oh, that's funny. That's real funny. So I could feed on people if I want to. To make my weakness to sunlight less. But in turn, if I don't do that, I'll be a hell of a lot stronger. As long as I stay out of sunlight. Okay, yeah, magic. That's what empowers. Vampire Servant. Reanimate a weak dead body to fight for you for 120 seconds. Improved night vision for 60 s Oh, that's Vampire Sight, okay. Still got the highborn ability. Shouts, I still haven't used any of them yet. Doggy. Two Sith? Oh, these doggies don't attack me no more. That's kind of nice. Well met, brother. Don't get in my way, and I won't tear your arms off. Simple, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess. You'll be a welcome addition to the court. I'm sure. If I may, let me offer you a piece of advice. Be careful who you trust. Not all of us have the court's best interests at heart. Ortheof, for example. He'll tell you he means well, but believe me, he can't be trusted at all. Keep that in mind, will you? Uh, yeah, why can't he be trusted? He claims to serve loyally, but he really covets the throne. He sees himself in charge someday. His ambition will justify any actions. Put your faith in him, and you will regret it, I promise you. Will do. Until next time. Another elf, I see. I'm sure Velgalmo is sizing you up as we speak, trying to figure if you're friend or foe. He'll tell you what a monster I am, that I can't be trusted. You mark my words. It's him you need to worry about. If it'll get him closer to being in charge, he'll slit your throat without a moment's thought. No, and if you're smart, you won't either. I know he's one of your kind and all, but he's only looking out for himself. You think you're best of friends until you find his fangs in your neck. I'll take my leave then. Life here is well, better than you find anywhere. Why don't you two just uh, well, kill each well. other? Where have you been, Vin Garmo? No stuck in Hello there. Hole. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Oh, isn't that lovely? I didn't even think you knew what a book Well met, brother. Friend. Hello there. Well, watch that tongue. Elf. And you do well to be more careful when you engage in witty banter. What the hell, what are these, like, uh... Barrels of blood or something? Yeesh. <laughs> Crazy. Well, actually, you know what I didn't do? I should check out my active effects. Weakness to fire. Your vampiric blood gives you a minus 20% weakness to fire. Okay. 
That kind of sucks. Resist frost. Your vampiric blood gives you 20% resistance to frost. Wow, that means I have 70% resistance to uh, frost right now with the uh, the armor I have equipped. So maybe I should substitute my shock resistance with fire. That way, when I become a stage 4 vampire, I won't have as much weakness to fire. I can pretty much nullify the weakness with a resistance. So yeah, that might be beneficial. Seeing as I'm now... probably hated by all the humans and are probably all terrified of me or not humans but non-vampires I should say that's what I should say yeah we got more people here that we can feed from And I did read in the strategy guide that uh, a stage 4 vampire, uh, just being in stage 4 isn't a crime. Like if you were in stage 4 before, like a full blown vampirism, then uh, you would just be attacked on sight. But it's not the case in this version of Skyrim with DLC, so it's a little bit different. Which is good, because, you know, you don't have to worry about that. talk to you in a while. Just want to see how you're doing. You know? If you need anything, say the word. Can you feel it? You're now so much more than you were before. Time was I could barely hold my own in the companions. Now I could slaughter them all without a second thought. And I'm not half the vampire Lord Harkon is. Truth is, I'm better with a forge than I am with claws or fangs. I, I was. Didn't progress very far. Never did care for their attitude, acting like they're better than everyone else. But none of that matters now. I'm not the most powerful of vampires, but I'm good with a hammer. See for yourself. Sells ebony an ebony shield. Some other garbage vampire stuff that I don't care about. All right. Good day. Stuff I got is already better. Never made it far in the companions. I'd like to see any of them try and call me wet again. I just stole some money. It's kind of an accident, but whatever. They won't miss it. I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. All right. What does this guy have for me? I have never understood the Nord fascination with weapons. Magic is so much more versatile, don't you think? Yeah. Absolutely. Lord Harkon. Remember your place. Now, what is our Lord's wish? Well, well. He wants the chalice, then. You've heard of the Bloodstone Chalice? Uh, yeah, I've never heard of it. It is a rather well-kept secret. The chalice has been in Lord Harkin's possession for quite some time now. It is, 
when used properly, able to increase the potency of our powers. He has neglected using it for ages. If he wants it filled now, then grander things are afoot. This is good. Follow me. I'll take you to it. Lord Harkon has never cared to use the chalice, relying on his more than adequate powers until now. This is an intriguing change. Maybe he wants to beef me up. Excuse us. I need to fetch the Bloodstone Chalice. The Chalice? Why? What are you up to, Garan? Lord Harkon's orders, Ortheolf. Calm yourself. Our friend here has been ordered to fill the Chalice. Really? Indeed. He's off to Redwater Den. Well, best of luck to you. Vengalmo and Ortheolf are Harkon's primary advisors. I'm sure they're quite surprised to learn that you're taking the chalice. I was gonna say, is he gonna go somewhere or do I gotta... Oh, there it is. And here we are. Now. This chalice needs to be filled directly from the blood spring that is the source of Redwater Den. But that's not enough. Once that's done, the blood of a powerful vampire needs to be added to it. Keep in mind that Redwater Den has fallen into... Well, let's just say less reputable members of society now dwell there. It's your choice whether to attempt to deal with them or force your way through. Hurry back. Don't want to keep Lord Harkon waiting. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Well met, brother. Don't get in my way, and I won't tear your arms off. Simple. Do you isn't need it? something? You can't trust a word that comes out of Vincalmo's mouth. Yeah, whatever. I am above the petty squabbles here. An ancient font full of power. As much as it looks like blood, sadly, it is not. Can you imagine if it were? We'd never need to hunt again. Still, its liquid is powerful, full of magic. Others have noticed, though they have never fully realized its potential. Ancestors guide you. Well met, brother. What now? Oh, you're not very talkative anymore. That's well, so what time is it? Now I gotta start worrying about the fucking time. I'm gonna go outside and shit. Okay, seven o'clock, so that means it should be getting dark. Wait, are you following me? Yes. No, I guess not. Mm, Twenty percent weakness to fire.
Interesting. I'll be right back. Alright, back at the College of Winterhold, I did some more enchanting. Changed up my equipment a little bit. Not too much though. Still have the Archmage robes, along with Elven boots that have frost and fire resistance. Elven gauntlets I kept, of course. The Meraki mask I kept because uh, it's awesome. I like magic regenerating 100% faster. That's going to be especially good uh, with my new vampire powers because uh, normally in vampire form or in vampire lord form uh, you can't regenerate magicka um, in the daylight. Well, you can with equipment like this, and then the Archmage robes will allow me to. I still have those effects, even though technically when I transform into that form, uh, the armor is gone. I still gain the effects from the armor. Alright, so a silver ring that I had before with reducing uh, destruction and and, uh, and uh, shock resistance. I, cha I made another ring with fire resistance and shock resistance by 50% uh, to boost it to 50% I used one of those enchanter drought potions to get it up to 50% because default with a grand soul gem is only like 46% at 100 skill level uh, with enchant and then with a different necklace this necklace the necklace I had before was destruction uh, cost 27% less and uh, disease resistance now I decided to omit the d disease resistance uh, for obvious reasons. I'm a vampire now, so I am 100% immune to disease. Not only that, I'm 100% immune to poison, so any more spiders are going to be spitting poison at me. It's not going to do a damn thing. It's not going to hurt me at all. I'm completely immune to it. So that's another reason why I became a vampire, uh, just for that simple reason. Also, I, a couple days have passed since the last time I you know, was screwing around. So I'm at stage 4 vampirism now. Now before the Dawn Guard DLC was released, if you were at stage 4 vampirism, uh, denizens of Skyrim would actually attack you on sight. They didn't care, you know, whether you attacked them or not. Um, with the Dawn Guard DLC, that's changed. The only time they'll actually attack you is if you transform into um, vampire lord form. Uh, in front of them and they see you. That's considered a crime, uh, they're afraid of you, and they'll attack you then. But if you're at stage 4 vampirism, you don't have to worry about it. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of reading on this, and it's definitely in my best interest to be a vampire. Mainly because of added act of, uh, active effects, like uh, Champion of the Night, losing spells cast by vampire are now 25% more powerful. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be using a lot more illusion spells when I want to do like the Thieves Guild or the Dark Brotherhood quests. Um, yeah, these uh, other ones are from the Archmage robes. Fortify Light Armor, I'm using Light Armor so that'll help I guess. Um, let's see, Fortify Magicka, yeah, okay, Fortify Restoration. Night Stalker's Footsteps, another uh, perk for being a vampire or another advantage is you get this nice little bonus, vampires are 25% harder to detect when sneaking. So you remember that one quest I was trying to do? Or actually, no, you wouldn't remember that. Yeah, I... I never mind. I did that off screen. <laughs> but yeah, I was trying to like sneak and, and, and uh, steal something or pickpocket something from somebody and it wasn't working too well at my current skill level. So at least with this, it'll, it'll make it a little bit easier until I get that skill up. Let's see, and then regenerate magicka, yeah, that's from the Moriki mask, and resist disease. Your vampiric blood gives you 100% resistance to disease. So again, that is amazing. Alright, so as you can see here, I have three resist fire active effects. They're all 50% between equipment, so they're all, it's basically 150%, and that's going to counteract this last one right here which is a weakness to fire when you're at a stage 4 vampire uh, you have a minus 50% weakness to fire basically yeah you're more weak to fire so right now I have a 100% immunity to fire because this one counteracts the 50% uh, weakness and then I have two resist fire equipments that make me 100% immune to fire so I'm a vampire right now that is 100% immune to fire and that is pretty sweet. <laughs> Alright, now resist frost. As a, yeah, as a, as a 
As a stage 4 vampire, your vampiric blood gives you a 50% resistance to frost. So, again, that's really good. And then, with the equipment I made, uh, through the Elven Boots, I have a 50%, 51% to be precise, resistance to, to frost with that. So, that's 100%. Frost can't hurt me at all. Period. And then, of course, yeah, your vampiric blood gives you... Um, 100% resistance to poison. So, again, that's really, really good. 100% resistance to disease, poison, 100% resistance to shock between the two, uh, the two things that I have for it. And then this nice little active effect right here that I got from a quest. And then, of course, I still have the mage stone in effect because I'm still trying to build my magic skills. Eventually, once I stop doing that, I'll try and use a different stone. But as you can see, this uh, the way I have my equipment set up right now, uh, in human form, I'm pretty much invincible when it comes to elemental attacks. Uh, I think still some magic spells can hurt me, obviously, but as far as elemental stuff, I am pretty much uh, invincible. Um, and I'm immune to disease and poison as a vampire, which is really good. I don't. I can throw out all my cure disease potions. I don't have to worry about those anymore. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, and I can transform into a vampire lord at will. I don't know if I'm going to do that here. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to come up here and bother me. I think I can pretty much do that whenever I want. So go ahead and do that now I guess so yeah um, how do I make it so I can like swivel here it's not gonna let me do that it's not gonna let me swivel around why isn't it let me doing that can I oh now it'll let me do that if I put my hands down so yeah don't I look handsome <laughs> I mean, this is pretty sweet. I can turn into a vampire. And yeah, I don't even know if all these uh, effects are active while I'm a vampire. You know, like with my armor and stuff. But I know that during the day, if I try and, like, use um, spells and stuff while I'm outside during the day, I mean, I will take 60-point hit in health, stamina, and magicka. But I'll still be able to regenerate magicka, which is good. But yeah, if I hit tab... It won't take me to my menu, but it'll take me to my Vampire Lord perks. Which, uh, apparently you can get more perks uh, as you kill enemies with the uh, Blood Drain spells. Yeah, the first one that I that I, uh, that I have to get before I can get any of these other ones is uh, this Power of the Grave, which is, is going to give me a 50 point bonus to health, magic, and stamina. Which is uh, going to be nice, because that'll make me even more freaking ridiculously powerful. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this setup so far, and uh, I'll probably do some more quest stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll probably do this quest next, this Bloodstone Chalice. We'll have to go to the Redwater Spring, and uh, I'll probably be doing that in the next episode. This is Veteran 021. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.